Hi, Thrall. He's been extra lovey-dovey. Of course, we had chicken tonight, didn't we? You had some before, and then you had my leftovers, didn't you? Happy, happy. Happy, happy. Hello, everybody. We're so glad to see you. Well, I have a vlog that will be coming along with all the making of a table out of a hollow core door which I started on today. Hopefully I can finish it tomorrow that will fit over my keyboard so I'll be able to have a table and my keyboard in my new place wherever, whenever that is and uh, it should work. Hopefully. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. It'll be a little hard to work on things with my fingers crossed but hey. <laughs> So today I decided, I saw someone was asked a bunch of questions on Facebook, and I'm going to answer some of them for me. If someone wanted to really understand you, what would they read, watch, or listen to? Pippi Longstockings by Astrid Lindgren. That's what they'd read. I am Pippi Longstockings. What would they watch? Jeopardy. I have a Jeopardy brain. So full of little file cabinets of all kinds of information, you have no idea. What would, I, what would you listen to? Just about anything. I like 70s progressive rock. I like European music. I like house and trance. I like music from the 20s and 30s. And some classical music. I, I'm all over the place. I don't care for country music, though. And I don't really care for rap hip-hop stuff. I don't... No, but just about anything else. When I have housework to do, I put on some like house music with a lot of drive and beat to keep me going. <laughs> do you like your name? Is there another name that you think would be better? I hate my name. It's Shirley Louise. My Aunt Shirley's name was Shirley Louise, and my father's mom's name was Louise, so I guess it pleased everybody, except me. Shirley sounds like a truck stop waitress that's chewing gum while she takes your order. Um, I'm Shirley, how you doing? No, I don't like it. Louise I like, and I like Anne. Something very simple where people don't have to go, how do you spell that? You know? I have been called Joanne a few times. I guess I look like a Joanne to some people. Hmm. Are you religious and spiritual? I used to be religious. I was brought up Lutheran. Spent a lot of time at church and doing Lutheran things and being ultra religious. A Bible thumper by the age of 11. People hated me. Gee, I wonder why. And then I sat and thought about the world and life was not improving even though I asked God for help all the time it was not improving at all so I just said screw it it can't be there might be some ethereal plane out there that souls and spirits and things are just flying around and you can grab out with asking for help but I don't think it's an old guy in a robe sitting there waiting for you to talk to him no Do you, you care about your ethnicity? I love my ethnicity. I'm half Czech and Bohemian, and the other half is Swedish and German. According to Ancestry, I'm the half for the is Czech, and I mean that's definite. That's my dad's side, and then I'm more Swedish than German. Who knew? Do I look it? Oof, da. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I do like my ethnicity, and I like the foods that go along with it, of course. Are you an artist? I think so. I love to draw. I'd rather draw than do about anything. If you had center, center court seats to a famous basketball game, or 50-yard line tickets to a football game, or a cruise ship ticket, I'd rather sit and draw. I'm sorry. Video games? Rather sit and draw. I'm just an old person. <laughs> Do you have a creed? Well, I'm not sure quite what that means, but 
treat people the way you want to be treated. The golden rule, basically. Am I a dog or a cat person? I like all animals. Not really. Cockroaches I don't like. Flies are annoying. Uh, bugs I'm not real fond of. But I love most all animals. I'm more of a cat person because I understand cats. And dogs, they bark and get on my nerves. They smell. And you have to get up in the middle of the morning to take them out to go to the bathroom. or You know, it just... Cats are self-contained, basically, and for the most part, they go in a litter box, and it's just a lot easier with a cat. <sighs> inside or outside person? Well, if there were no bugs, it'd be outside all the time. I love being outside. I love being inside, too. Are you a musician? I don't know. I guess so. I have a harmonica, a slide whistle, a kalimba, and keyboards, but I play, grew up playing the piano. And I'm trying to write a musical, and I hum and sing all day long, so I'd say, yeah. If you'd grown up in a different environment, do you think you'd have turned out differently or the same? That is a good question. I wonder about that all the time. Like, had some really nice guy proposed to me and I married that person and they you know loved me and and we made a good life together would I still feel the same towards people and things I don't know would be nice to have experienced any of that but I think a person's soul is what your soul is parts of the ethereal plane latch on to a baby when it's born and you know if you're an asshole you're an asshole if you're an empath you're an empath that went far away didn't it uh, let's see and there's a bunch of questions of various younger people things that I don't understand could I live as a hermit yes yes I could pretty much live as a hermit here I'd have to have an animal, like a kitty cat or something, a bunny or a cat or something. I'd have to have a familiar, an animal with me. But, yeah, I could. How would you describe your gender sexuality? Well, I'm a cis female. In other words, I'm heterosexual and I like men. Many times too much. Sex? Yes, please. Do you feel like the outside appearance is a fair representation of the real you? What do you think? Yeah. I don't get all fake. What you see is what you get, baby. And this video is way too long. So I'm going to stop it here. Scarf down some speckaloos and some tea. Check my mail. Probably, it's only 8 o'clock. It seems like midnight. Plan my day for tomorrow and finish to do that table out on the patio and film it and all that good stuff. So, he's still sleeping. So, I'm going to say goodnight and upward and onward.